हेलो एवरीवन सो इन द प्रीवियस वीडियो सो फार वी ऑलरेडी लर्न हाउ टू क्रिएट टेबल हाउ टू मेंटेन डेटा इन द टेबल यूजिंग टेबल मेंटेनेंस जनरेटर नाउ व्हेन वी क्रिएटेड द टेबल वी जस्ट परफॉर्म द स्टेप्स बट वी हैव नॉट कवर्ड फ्यू फ्यू थिंग्स whenever we created that table so now we will cover all those things firstly i will start with this the significance of ma and dt column whenever you are taking ma and dt column it will give you the client number of sap system so if you remembered when we put data into the table the client number 800 automatically appeared there so ma and dt field will give us the client number of sap system now what is the significance why we are taking ma and dt column in the table now tables having ma and dt field are called as client dependent or client specific tables whenever you are taking ma and dt column in that table that table is a client dependent table if you are not taking ma and dt field that table is a client independent table suppose i will go for the example suppose i have two clients 800 and 900 both are client copy of each other suppose in 800 client i have a table z1 in which i have a column ma and dt now i am putting data into this z1 table now this table is a client dependent table because i took ma and dt in this table so whenever i will insert data into this z1 table it will not the data of that table will not reflect into 900 client because it is a client dependent table data will remain in that particular client only now suppose i have a table z2 in 800 client and i am not taking ma and dt field in that table then what will happen that table will be a client independent table and i am inserting data into this table then what will happen the data of that table will automatically reflect into 900 client also because it is because it is a client independent table means if you are maintaining data into 800 it will automatically come into 900 client also so this is the significance of ma and dt field if you are taking ma and dt column in the table and you are maintaining data in the table the data will remain in that particular client only it will not reflect into another client but if you are not taking ma and dt column in the table and you are maintaining data data will automatically reflect into another client as it will be a client independent table generally in the projects the most preferable is we should always always take ma and dt column in the table because we do not want that data should go to other clients yes 
So always, always take MA and DT column in that table. Tables having MA and DT is called as client dependent table or client specific tables. Tables do not have MA and DT are called as client independent tables. Now, now we will come on to another thing. If you remember, when we created that table, we took two things, data class and size category. So I will cover size category in this particular video. What is the significance of size category? What is size category? Size category tell us a table can store how many number of records. Suppose, if you will take the help of size category, we have the various size categories, 0, 1, 2, 3, up to 9. So, if you see every size category has the record range, means it can store up to how many records. So, size category tells us a table can store how many number of records based upon that we can choose the size category. If number of records increases, we can change the size category, not an issue, but size category tells us a table can store how many number of records. So in this particular video, we learned the significance of MA and DT column in that table and we also learned what is size category. The rest part we will continue in the next video. Thank you.